Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at a problem from Cambridge A-level examination. We have 2 to the power x equals 3 to the power y and x plus y equals 1. So this is a system in two variables and we're going to be solving for x and y values. I'll be presenting three methods. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'd like to do the following. Since we were given that x plus y is equal to 1, I'm going to go ahead and isolate 1 from there, subtract x. So I can write y as 1 minus x, and I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here. So we have 2 to the x equals 3 to the power y, replace y with 1 minus x. And now from here, solve for x. So solve for x, I'm going to go ahead and break it down into 3 over 3 to the power x and then cross multiply to get 6 to the x equals 3. Awesome. And you know, when we the variable is in the exponent, we can just log both sides with base 6. And that's going to give us the answer. Because the x is going to move forward. This is going to be 1. And from here, we basically get x equals log 3 with base 6. Is that the only x value? There should be another one. Well, actually, there's only one x value, but we, we got to find the y value. So let's go ahead and find it. What is the y value? Well, we know that y equals 1 minus x. So y equals 1 minus x gives us 1 minus log 3 base 6. And obviously, this can be written as 1 can be written as log 6 in base 6. And then we can kind of use the quotient property of logs. We talked about it before, remember? You just divide these numbers and use the same base. This just becomes log 2 with base 6. So that's going to be our y value. Great. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. For my second method, I'm going to be using a different approach, obviously. So we know that 2 to the x is 3 to the power y. And I also know that in the back of my mind, x plus y is equal to 1. So how can I take advantage of x plus y? Why not multiply this equation by... 2 to the power y equals 2 to the power y. That's true, right? If you multiply these two equations, in other words, we are actually multiplying both sides by 2 to the power y. That's what I'm trying to do. When you multiply these two, you're going to add the exponents, so it's going to be 2 to the power x plus y equals 3 to the power y times 2 to the power y. Since they have the same exponent, you can go ahead and just multiply the bases, and that's going to give you 6 to the power y. But notice that we do know the value of x plus y. That's why we use this method. We know that x plus y is equal to 1. So we can go ahead and substitute here. 2 to the power 1 is going to give us 2. And from here, y is going to be log 2 with base 6 as before. But this time we found the y value first. Doesn't matter. We can go ahead and plug it in and find the x value the same way. So to find the x value, you can use x plus y equals 1. Or you can use 2 to the x equals 3 to the y. It's just going to be a little longer. You can just write it as 2 to the x equals 3 to the power log 2 base 6. And then from here to find x value, you can go ahead and log both sides. Or you can do the following. Just Let's just do a little fancy substitution here. Call this t. You get um, log 2 with base 6 equals t, which means 6 to the power t equals 2. Awesome. And then we also have from here 2 to the x equals 3 to the power t. So we have two things here. We kind of I kind of turned it into a system. We have 2 to the x equals 3 to the t, but you can go ahead and replace 2 with this. And that gives you 6 to the t to the x equals 3 to the t. From here, you can basically raise, um, you can kind of switch the x and t around and then raise both sides to the power 1 over t. In other words, cancel out the t and you get 6 to the x equals 3. Obviously, that's such a long way to do it but x becomes log 3 with base 6, as before. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the third method. Like I said earlier, x plus y is going to get you to the answer much faster. So with the third method, we're going to do the following. I have this equality. Uh, first of all, just ignore the fact that x plus y is equal to 1 and ln both sides. Because, you know, with exponents, you don't have to use the base 2 or base 3. You could... But you could also use base 10, base uh, e, which is the natural log, which is very common. So let's just ln both sides. 
and then move the exponents. You get x ln 2 equals y ln 3. And now from here, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to divide both sides by y and ln 2. And then we're going to get a ratio like this one, or a proportion, you can call it. And from here, I'd like to do the following. x is uh, directly proportional with ln 3, and y is directly proportional with ln 2. So I can say the following. x equals k times ln 3, and y equals k times ln 2, where k is a real number, which is not 0. And what I can do with this is really cool, because we know x plus y is equal to 1. I can go ahead and replace these values. That's going to give me k ln 3 plus k ln 2 equals 1 and now we can take out the k k times ln 3 plus ln 2 is equal to 1 kind of factor out the common term but this is ln a plus ln b or ln x plus ln y which is the product property remember that that gives you ln 3 times 2 so that's just going to be ln 6 so from here we, we find the k value which is 1 over ln 6 how does that help well i have the values of x and y in terms of k so i can go ahead and find x and y x is k ln 3, so that's just going to be ln 3 over ln 6. And y is k ln 2, which can be written as ln 2 over ln 6. But why is this different from what we found earlier? Because you can always turn it into a different base. This is a change of base, by the way, but we're using it backwards. So we can write this as log 3. That's the top number that goes here, and the base goes here. And this is our top number that goes here, and the base goes here. And those are going to be the same answers as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. And sorry about my voice. I think I lost it again. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.